Welcome back and you all have seen in my virtual dub videos that I favour the use of this X264 VFW codec which doesn't come with virtual dub as standard. In fact the codecs it does come with are pretty limited. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to find it and how to add it to virtual dub so that you can use it yourself. So let's close virtual dub and go to Google and if you type in VFW264 codec, it will take you to sourceforge.net, which is a highly respectable download site, and you will download this codec. And once it's ready to download, we save it onto our desktop. And from that point, you're just going to double click this and install it on your computer. I'm not going to install it because it's already installed. But once it's installed, you will then find it in the list of compression available in Virtual Dub. So it's really easy to add. I strongly recommend you go off and find yourself a copy of that because, as I say, Virtual Dub doesn't come with that specific codec. And then once you've got that codec in your uh, compression, you can come in and set it up. You click on this configure button and you can see my settings here. I've got it set. I, I changed the, the way I set it, but. Um, if you keep it around about 10,000, that will be fine for YouTube. That's all you need to do. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.